if you have a travel trailer or RV with a Dometic refrigerator and it's not working properly or you have a fuse blown inside the uh, breaker panel, you may have had the run into the same problem that I ran into. Uh, I really thought it was going to be something serious. I couldn't get the refrigerator to work and I kept having a fuse blow and it turned out to be one of the simplest fixes uh, once I determined what it was. So I'm going to show you that right now. So let's start by going over to the refrigerator. This is the, um, I think these are basically in every travel trailer or RV. So I kept having a check light come on at first. And then after that, I would have the fuse blow in the breaker box on the uh, Dometic refrigerator. It didn't matter if I had it on auto, gas, or just uh, trying to put it on straight electric. Either way, the fuse would pop and the refrigerator wouldn't work whatsoever. So what I ran into at first when it wasn't working was over here, the 12 volt, 15 amp fuse, number seven down says RV and furnace, or I'm sorry, refrigerator and furnace. So when I went down, the actual red light inside here was showing, pulled it out, that fuse was blown. Put a new fuse in, and as soon as I put it in, the uh, fuse blew again. So ultimately, I went outside to the um, to the refrigerator to where the refrigerator is at. Remove this, and there's an inline fuse right here. So you unscrew that. There's a three amp inline fuse. It's called a fast blow fuse. It's like any automotive fuse that you would find in a car for a uh, car stereo or whatnot. I checked that, that fuse was good. After a while of searching, I couldn't figure out what kept blowing the fuse inside. I finally removed this panel here. You just clip it. I have it undone right now, but you just unclip it. You pull kind of hard on the top here, unclip it, and work your way through the um, the wire here on the bottom. Now I can't get it off. So it kind of catches up on the bottom here. Okay, once you get that off, you're gonna see on the computer board, there's a fuse right there, a glass fuse in the back. That was completely blown and the glass was broken in the center. Um, I had had a voltage regulator problem prior to this, which spiked my voltage up to 160 volts. And after that, that's when my refrigerator stopped working. I'm assuming that that voltage spike blew that fuse right there. Now that fuse, you can't find in any automotive store. And two of the RV places that I went to didn't have it in stock. They carried it, but didn't have it in stock. So what you need is it's, it's a five amp fuse, but it's not just a regular five amp fuse. It's, hopefully you can see that down at the bottom here. It's a five amp time delay fuse. You can't just put any regular fuse in that. It has to be a time delay. Um, Amazon has them, a 10 pack for like $10. Um, I actually found these at a uh, local hardware store that had them in stock. But if you're having a problem with your refrigerator not working, that's most likely your issue right there. So check the fuse on the breaker box. If that keeps popping, check the inline fuse and then check the one back there. I would definitely buy this one right here and keep them in hand or on hand um, in case you're ever at a campground because I had a uh, heck of a time trying to find it. Hope this helps.